are doing today, 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 we are doing a new version, not new to me, but me showing you um, wig caps like these, you know, sew them all in and everything, you know, quick on the go. This is human hair as well. You can wash it, you can straighten it out, or you could just leave it curly. But sometimes I don't have on green and, or I don't have on blue. Like you see the blue one and I wanna wear my black one, but I don't wanna put a wig cap on this one because sometimes I just wear this just to wear it and I don't wanna be bothered with any hair anywhere. So I said, well, I'm gonna make me a band wig instead of a wig cap, a wig band. So that way I can interchange it with any hat that I want to. So I'm gonna show you some clips on how I did my hair like this and um, I'll be back. So I start off with my mannequin I look for the back piece, which is where it's sewn together. And that use that as the guide of the back of my hair, for the back of the hair. So I put that on. Then I take my pins, whatever pins you have, and I stick it in. Just a little, you know, randomly around the head to I come all the way around. Right? So then I go back to the back of the head. So I start with the one pack of hair. Now for this hair that I did, I showed this, I used this. And I only really use two packs. It goes a long way. You don't, you can't do one, it'd be too flimsy. But two packs, depending on what kind of hair it is. Like I'm going to be doing these goddess locks in another one maybe in another tutorial and um, show you. I'm gonna be doing some braids. So every hair is gonna be different. So that's how we do that. So I'm gonna let you continue to watch me putting it together. If you can see right here, I place my hair pins here cause this is where I wanna stop. And you see, I have one on this end because I don't need to do all of this, just the back. And this right here is my starting point. You know how you always have that little ridge. So all of this will be done for you can have, put it on your head, put a hat on and go. So what I'm doing right now is just filling in just doing little spaces as I go. And then I'll take a step back and see where I can add in. Cause you don't want to make it over full and you can't really get every knot. Just enough to make it full as you like it or thin as you like it. Okay, so now I have finished one pack of the hair. And you see all of these open spots here. And then you see full here. So that's when you can go in with some extras because I finished, I stopped right here at that double line. And this is gonna be the other hat. All of this doesn't need to be done because that's gonna be on the front of your hat, cap your scarf, whatever you want to put on. And this is the back that hangs out. Make your hair do look like you got to do when you don't have a do. So I'm going to continue now and I'm going to do the next pack on this side. And then I have some fill-ins if I need to, because I have three packs, but I'm not going to use all three packs. Just a little bit out of the last pack just to fill in different places, like right here, you know, and when you do, never do this top line up here. See that? Never do that. Start like 
down here because that's too thin and it might pop okay and this is very very stretchy so it will fit all size heads okay so when you do a couple bring it up and do some underneath the bottom and then I usually just pin it up with some wig pins and then I really fill in the bottom like how I filled this in really really good and I might do just a couple right here but not up here okay I'm going to continue nine of these left so I'm just going to fill in like this is like the back the complete back so I'm going to fill that line in mostly then I'm just going to go and just fill in put about five here just to fill that in in the middle and I think everywhere else is pretty good and I'll take the other four and just place them you know in areas where I think it needs to go and then we'll be done and I only use two packs I spaced out this side sometimes you can get happy with filling them in and you can have a big clump of hair but you have to just randomly put them in randomly put them in and then come back take a step back and look make sure your pins are all the way around holding it in one spot or it's going to keep tail if you got braids in your hair whatever you have like you know you're getting ready to put on a wig or something you just have it flat right so this is the piece that I have made so I just open it up just like a band take it to the front put it on put it around it's supposed to now me this is optional for you me I put one in the back I want my back to come up I put it on my ponytail and I secure a bobby pin in the back and I secure me a bobby pin on the side and on the other side okay and and there you have it is your band wig and you take whatever hat you want and you put it on and you go to the store or wherever it is that you need to go you can style it to the way you like I style it with it on my head and I just cut it to uh, fit me where I want it to be. You can style your hair the way you want. You can curl it if you have curls. So you could do it however you want. If you want it to be longer to where you can put it in a ponytail, you can do that too. Take the seat, take the seat. 
Well, we're so glad that you came and you stopped by and we appreciate you watching Work of Excellence TV. And if you're new, subscribe, join the family, share the video. To all of our family members, friends, share the videos for people can get to know who we are. Thank you so much. And until the next video, peace out, y'all.